Everybody, Heather here. So today we're going to be coloring this super cute Stamping Bella image called Lucille Sends Her Love. And I'll put a link to the card kit and all the supplies I use down in the description box if you'd like to head over to the store and grab something. I would love for you to shop with me. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento to Tuxedo Black ink. So let's color. So let's get started by outlining my, our image, and for that we're going to use E50 and our colorless blender. So I'm going to start out with my E50, and I'm just going to go all the way around. So I'm just going to go down here at the bottom, and get in between her leg. And this works out great too, so if you're afraid of getting some on um, the girl, um, you can erase it. So if you do the outlining first, then you don't have to worry. I just like to do the outlining um, my image, I like to outline it so that it looks like it's popping off the page just a little bit. I'm just going to go down here, work my way around, clear back over to the other side. She's got a few little spaces there in between the hearts. And I wasn't too careful up here um, in her hair. I just kind of dipped down into some of those little swirls. Nothing too, too complicated. And we'll go back over here to her shoulder. And then again, work our way back down to the bottom here. And same for these little ruffles here on her dress. I tried to get into there, but if I didn't go all the way up close, that was fine for me. And we'll just work our way back down to her shoe. And I think I'll swab right inside that where her stick for her um, little heel is. And I also want to go around all these little hearts. So I'm going to go up here and quickly get all these hearts that were out here floating in space. Give them a little bit of a shadow. And same for this side. And if you colored over the heart, not a big deal because they are going to be red. So that will cover all those up. So if you just want to give them a swish swish right over the top, that would be fine too. Oh, and here's one right here. Okay, then I'm going to take my colorless blender just to soften the edges, and this works best if your pin is full. So I'm just going to take and swirl it around in here, making sure to go out away from the line. And this works great now because you don't have any color on there, except for your outline. So if you accidentally go, you don't have to be careful, I'm just swirling all over, it doesn't matter where I go. <laughs> Let's go over this one. Swirl some out here and work my way back down to her foot. And then I just let it dry and it will have a nice little outline around Lucille. Next, let's hop down here and do the ground she's standing on. So I'm going to zoom up here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So for that, I'm going to use W4, W2, and W0. I'm going to start out with my W4 and let's go here by her foot. I'm going to kind of make it go up a bit a little slope here. Same for this way. I'm just going to bring my dark line down like that. And then for this side over here, I'm going to get underneath of her shoe. And I'm going to bring that line out like this. Maybe fill in a little bit of space. Like that. Give it a little bit something different. And then W2. So I'm going to do a little bit in between her toe right here. 
And then I want to bring my W2 out here. And then W0. And you can go as far out as you want, as far down as you want. It's all up to you. And then after I've got it all done, I want to go back with my W4 and put my dark back in. So I'm just going to go in here like this. Now let's work on our skin. And since she's got such a small area, I'm only going to use a couple of colors. So for her skin, I'm going to use E21 and E00. And for her cheeks, I'm going to use R20 and R30. So I'm going to start with my E21. Let's go and just do these skinny little legs first. So I'm going to do a little dab underneath of this little ruffle on her skirt. And then I'm going to go down the back side of her leg. And there's not much space there, so you're just going to want to use just the tip of your pin. And then I'm going to come down here across the top of her um, um, shoe. And I'm going to do a little bit underneath of her kneecap. And then we're going to go down this side. And back down to her shoe, and I again do over the top of the little ruffles. And then she's got some toes sticking out here, so let's go ahead and just do a little bit on her foot. And then I'm going to take my E00 and just fill it in. So I'm just going to brush clear over her entire leg. Like this. work my way down to the bottom. And those legs are really skinny, so you have to be careful. And this one's got a little line over here still, so I'm going to brush down one more time. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to work on those little skinny arms. So again, grab your E21. And let's start with this hand in the front. And just do a little dab down here on the bottom. And then this arm, she's got a little bit sticking out behind that heart and then there's a little bit right here in the front and she also has right here is her arm in between these little um, hearts so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit I know you can't see it very well but I'm going to put a little dab in there and then I want to go down her bodice this, and I'm going to go ahead and just paint her little tiny neck and then I'm going to grab my E00 and I'm going to fill the rest of that section in And then for her face, I'm again going to start with my E21. She's got a couple of her little ears are sticking out, so I want to make sure to give those a little dab. And then I'm just going to brush along the side of her face like this. And up here underneath of her cute hair. And then I'm going to take my E00 to fill it in. And I'm going to go over it again so I'm not worried that it's not blended. Then I'm going to take my um, R20 and I'm going to give her a little bit of cheek color. So let's get a little circle here, a little circle there. And then I take R30 and I'm just going to go lightly around on the very edge. And then I'm going to grab my E21 again. And then my E00. got a little small face. There's not much there. And then if you thought that your cheeks were too light, you could just go over those um, a second time. Now let's go up here and work on her hair. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more there. So for her hair, we're going to use E77, E74, E71, and E08. So I'm going to start with my E77. And also in her hair, right here, is a little patch of flowers. So you want to kind of be aware of that. And I actually, when I first colored it, I colored over them and then I went back and just colored them red. So if you make a mistake and color over them, you will be able to, you know, just paint over them with the red. They'll be just a little bit darker. So I'm going to start with my E77 um, and I'm just going to add some color in here. So I just pick some sections 
like that. And I didn't go all the way across. Again, down here, up here where her little ponytail is. And then I just randomly picked some of these little swirls up here and just kind of swirled over them. You know, tried to make little squirrelies in there. And my lines do not match the little swirls. I just tried to put some color in there like that. And then I went with my E74. And again, just brush some spots and maybe pull my color in here and a little bit more in the middle. And brush down from the top. And then again, I just picked some of these swirls and just added some color. And I'm just using the tip of my pen to go in there and pick some. And then next we have E71. And then what was left up here, I went up here and added some swirls, some of this color and some of these little curly cues up here again. And some of the dark ones, too, I kind of went back over just a little bit with this color. And then I decided after I had it all done, it maybe was a little boring, so I took my E08. And I just went in and added a few little streaks. Same with up here in the swirls. Just to give it a little bit of interest. So it wasn't quite so brown and dull. Now let's move down here to her dress. Let's zoom out a little bit here. And I want to add some pleats, um, but I don't want to start with a dark color because I want to make sure I get them in the spot I want. So I'm going to take my W0 pen, and right here she's already got a little line. So I'm going to use one of that, a little bit of that, and I'm just going to draw me a little streak. And let's go down and say, oh, how about right here? And I'm just going to work my way across and add a few little sections here where I want to add a streak. Same for this side over here. This one's got a little line already, so I'm going to use that. And let's say right here. And then let's give the middle of the dress one right here. And that kind of gives me, I don't know if you can see it, just a little bit on there. But that kind of gives me an idea of where I want to start. So now I'm going to take my W6 and I'm going to go over those lines. Just give me a little place to start so I didn't feel that if I messed it up I couldn't start over. I think I'll bring this one up just a little bit more. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to take my W4 and I'm going to go down here towards the bottom. And I wasn't, I was kind of careful, but not so much that if I got some down inside the little swirls, I wasn't worried. I just kind of went as close to the lines down here as I could. And some of the little lines, um, the little bumps I went over the top of, I wasn't concerned if they didn't match up perfectly. I got the bottom started, and then I want to go over these lines. So I'm just going to bring my pin up here, right over the top of the line, and I'm kind of pressing a little bit harder so that it covers up both sides of my little line I made. Like this. And then we're going to take W2. I'm going to start down here at the bottom and work my way up. my W0 to fill in this section. And I wasn't worried that it still looks blotchy because I'm actually going to go up here and do it again. And she's also got this little space right here in between these hearts that I'm going to just give it a little color so that it's like her dress is showing through right there even though there's not a line over here of stamped image for the dress. 
right, now I'm going to go ahead and start again. So I've got my W6, and I'm going to put my little line in. W4. Again, I want to go over the top of that, and I think I'll pull it up just a little bit more down here at the bottom. Pull it past a little bit further up on her dress than I did the first time. And then W2. Again, let's pull it up just a little bit more. And then my W0. And again, if you color on the heart, it's not a big deal because we're going to color those red. I'm going to brush down like this, and that will kind of smush the colors together down here at the bottom. Okay, now let's go up here and do, she's got a little bit of her bodice showing above her arms there. So I'm going to take my W6, and let's start right here above where her hand is. So I'm going to give that a little bit of color right in here, and I'm going to go ahead and say this, I'm going to give her a little bit of a dress right above this heart just so it will define where her skin is there. Okay, and then W4. Add a little bit more. W2. And then the W0 if you have any sections left there. And she's got a little bit over here, I'm going to say it's lace, so I'm going to color that in. And then for the lace down here at the bottom, I'm just going to take my W0 pen and just go over that and color it over it. And then later I went and added my stickle stardust to that. Shoes. Again, W6. So let's give it a little brush of our W6 here at the bottom. This. W4. W2, I think I'll brush a little bit over here because it's kind of shadowed over this side. And my W0 to fill in the rest of this lace. And I again put my stickle stardust on these to make them all sparkly. For the hearts, let's use R59, R39, R37, and R35. And let's go up here and do these ones in our hair really quick. So I'm going to grab my R59. And I'm just going to do the center part of each of the little hair, the little flowers. And then I'm going to grab R39 and fill in the tops again. I didn't color them all the way in, but I'm going to give them just a little bit more color there. And then R37 to fill in the bottoms. And then you can see them a little bit in there. Then, for the hearts down here, let's start down at her shoe. She's got this one lone little star, or little heart. So I'm going to take my R59, um, and I'm going to give that a little dab. Then I'm just going to work my way up. So let's do this one. And I just want to add some color to each one of these cute hearts. And I saved the red till last, because me and red, I don't know what it is, but I always seem to... I touch it and it makes a mess and it's just easier for me to save it to last and then I don't accidentally get my hand in it. It always seems to stay a little bit wet for me. And that one's pretty small. I'm going to color that one in. Same for this one. And work our way around here. This one's touching another one, so I'm going to go ahead and get right where it's touching this one. Same for this one. Let's give that a little bit of shadow. And let's work over here on this side. And if you don't use your R59 very much, um, you can pull the other end of the cap off 
and give it a second to um, pressurize and then it won't make um, quite such a mess. I tend to, if I don't use them very much, they make a blob. And we don't want that to happen after you've colored the whole thing, although I've had it happen to me quite a bit. You'll be coloring along and then get this big old blob on the bottom of your paper. And let's do this color underneath of her arm and along the bottom of this heart. Okay, so now let's grab R39. Let's go back down here and finish this one by her foot. And then again, work our way up. And just add some of this color to each of our little hearts. And if you fill, one, fill some of them in because they're too small, that's awesome. I'm just going to work my way along here. Give some color to each of these. little dab. And I'm going to fill this one here underneath of her arm all the way in. Let's work my way along here and give each one a little dab of color. And one right here. And I think I got them all. Okay, so now we're going to go with R37. And I already filled the one down by her shoe, so we don't need to go down there. Fill in some of these smaller ones. work my way back around to the other side. And her hand's right there, so be careful with that. Okay, and I think I, oh, I missed one right here. All right. And then I'm going to fill them in the rest of the way with my R35. Those areas are pretty small, so you got to be careful. And when I normally color, I'm flipping her all over the place. So I don't just, I try to keep it straight so that um, I'm coloring one direction when I'm coloring for on the video. But when I'm doing it, I'm turning it left and right and all over the place. Upside down and just being crazy. And work our way down to this one. Okay, we got all the hearts. Pretty. So here is Lucille Sends Her Love all colored up. Doesn't she look fabulous? And here's the finished card again. And on the car finished card, I added some um, stickle stardust to her shoes and the ruffle on the bottom of her dress. And then I added some um, smooch glitz up here to all these little hearts. And I can't remember what color it was, but I'll put it down in the description box. If you have a question, please leave me a comment. I'm happy to answer all questions. And if you like the video, it would be great if you could hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love that. 
Um, but I hope you had fun coloring with me today. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>